Welcome back to Adbox Studio. In this video, I'd like to show you more about the forms page and, and how to create uh, an appointments or reservations app or, or page within an app. So what we're going to do is just click the uh, new page button and we'll click forms. And now we have a forms page. So I'm going to change this to the page name to reservations. And instead of leave a message, we're going to call, uh, call this uh, uh, reserve a table. Assuming we're doing this for a restaurant, but of course you could do it for a, a, a salon, a dentist, uh, a surgery, uh, an accountancy firm, virtually any business, of course, that, that has an appointment system. Uh, then we'll put change the message. So it will be uh, okay. Coming down, you'll see that um, it's already populated with three fields. Uh, you can change them, of course. And what I would recommend, you put in the first name, leave that as text. And then we're going to take away the email and put last name. We we'll change the type again to text. Uh, for the message, we don't need a message, so we're going to change this to uh, date. Actually, no, let's put this to email. We'll change this to email type. Kept them all as mandatory fields, so they all have to be completed when someone wants to make a booking. And let's put in mobile. Select telephone, make that mandatory. Then we're going to put in, the, uh, actually, no, we'll put in the um, number of people and we'll make that into a number. Again, make that mandatory. And now we'll put in date, change the field to date, again make that mandatory, add another field, time, and we'll change this to time. Now whilst I'm on here, you can have date and time in one field, but uh, on a mobile device, personally I think it's a lot easier to have it as two separate fields, so that's why I'm doing that. And then we'll put another field for um, uh, put special requirements and we'll make this a multi-line text so they can put in more than one line and we will leave it as that now if the uh, restaurant or whatever business it is oh, sorry we just make that as mandatory and this one too so if the business has more than one location you could uh, add another um, element to the form and put um, location and then create uh, a drop down menu for example and make that mandatory and then you in the settings here you can put for example uh, London Manchester uh, Watford wherever their locations are. Okay, and then your the message that will be seen once they uh, submit the form. Put in a confirmation message, and then you can have uh, recipients. That will be people that will, uh, email addresses that will receive the uh, reservation request. So for example, you could put uh, whatever the email would be for the business. Here I'll put reservations We can have more than one recipient, so we could send it also to the manager. Okay, and then finally we save the changes. 
Okay, so now we can see the uh, how the form will be, but let's have a look in another browser. Okay, so we'll come to the options. We'll get the link to the to that particular page or the app rather, and we'll copy that. Okay, so here we have uh, the form that we've just created. Um, of course, on a mobile device, it will um, appear slightly different, but this is the uh, the form in this particular design that we've got. And you'll see when we come to date, uh, when someone selects a date, uh, what would happen on a mobile device is is the uh, date would come out like this, or, or Sometimes it would look slightly different um, depending on, on the browser that's that's used, but it makes it very easy to select a date and then of course the time. Again, how it will appear in a browser, uh, you'll get a wheel come up um, as you've probably seen on a iPhone or Android device, um, and they would just put in. Oops, put in uh, very easily the time and, and so forth and that's how you would create a reservation or appointment uh, app or page within an app what happens of course is the form then gets sent to the manager or whatever uh, whichever emails you put in uh, to receive the form let's have a, another look to go back here we have the form and these are the two emails that would receive the, the uh, reservation and you just have to make sure that um, whoever's receiving it will be able to respond of course um, if the uh, restaurant or whatever business it is if they have their own uh, online reservation system probably the easiest way uh, to do this would instead of create um, a form for appointments it would be just let me take through this it would be you'll be better off using uh, a different page type that would just go straight to uh, let me find it for you um, here we go what you would do is a web page and you would make that web page go straight to the uh, booking form that they use and therefore the booking would be integrated with their system but um, for many small businesses uh, using a, a a reservation form like this where they can can confirm the reservation is ideal and that's how you would uh, create uh, a reservation or appointment system within an app okay thanks very much for watching see you again in another video